Welcome back. We're continuing to look at rules of integration. What we now want to look at is integrating functions in the form f ax plus b. On the IGCSE 0606 additional math exam, you need to be able to differentiate this form of a function. So let's look at, we'll learn four rules for integrating functions in the form of f of ax plus b. Let's start by looking at differentiation and then working backwards to see how this process works. If I have the function 1 half e to the power of 2x plus 1, and I want to differentiate this function, then I have my multiple of 1 half times e to the power of 2x plus 1 times the derivative of the exponent. So this is applying the chain rule to exponential functions. The derivative of 2x plus 1 is 2. And when I simplify, I end up with 1 half times 2 is 1 e to the power of 2x plus 1. So let's take the derivative function and let's make that our actual function f of x equals e to the power of 2x plus 1 and think about how we would integrate to reverse the process of differentiation. What I did in differentiation was I have my constant multiple which it, in this function is 1. I multiply by e to the power of 2x plus 1 and then I multiply by the derivative of the composite function in the exponent 2x plus 1. In this case I'm going to multiply by the inverse of the derivative 1 over 2 and I end up with 1 half times e to the power of 2x plus 1, which is equal to the original function. And so we can generalize this rule for integration as follows. The integral of e to the power of ax plus b with respect to x equals 1 over a, which is the inverse of the coefficient of the x in the exponent, times e to the power of ax plus b plus the integrating constant of c. We can apply the same concept to a power function. The integral of ax plus b to the power of n, and I'll do this in parts, a function to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1, which is the normal procedure for an integral of a power function. Now the function here is ax plus b, and I'm going to apply the same concept of multiplying by the inverse of the coefficient of x, or 1 over a. I need to complete my notation. This is the integral of ax plus b to the power of n with respect to x equals 1 over a times ax plus b to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1. And we have a restriction in this example, which is that n does not equal negative 1. That's to prevent a denominator of 0. Let's look at trig functions. The integral of cosine of ax plus b with respect to x is, thinking about the integral of cosine, thinking about the process of integration of cosine, we have sine of ax plus b multiplied by the inverse of the coefficient of x, 1 over a, with our integrating constant of c. 
the integral of cosine of ax plus b with respect to x is 1 over a times sine of ax plus b plus c. And finally, let's look at sine, the integral of sine of ax plus b with respect to x equals negative 1 over a times cosine ax plus b plus c. Very similar to the integral of the cosine function. In this case, we factored in the negative to reflect that the integral of sine results in a negative value relating to cosine. With a quick review, I see I need a constant of integration in my second example, plus c. This concludes the lesson on integration rules. Recall that we've been using indefinite integrals. In our next lesson, we'll look at the definite integral and learn how this concept helps us to calculate areas that we can't calculate using geometry.